Hi there, welcome to this tutorial on Java Arrays. In this tutorial, let's look at varied range of topics related to arrays. So what we look at are a lot of topics which are already present on our website with examples. We'll look at each one of them in detail. We'll see how to declare an array, what would be the default values in an array, and how do you find the length of an array, how do you loop around an array, and uh, at a later point in the next video probably we would look at 2D arrays and how we can compare arrays. So let's get started with the basic array stuff first. Uh, the first point is how we really uh, declare an array. So the way we declare an array is this. Let's uh, the type and the name and an open bracket and a close bracket. The difference between an array and a normal variable. Let's say I'm calling it int marks. This marks is just one value. So it's just, it can store just one value in it. However, if I declare a array, then I can store a number of values in it. So I can store, let's say one, two, three, four, five. I can store five values in an array, five numbers in an uh, array. But in a normal variable, you can only store one value at a time. At a time, probably over a period of time, you can store different values. But at any point in time, you would just be able to store one value. However, in the case of an array, you can store multiple values of the same type. So what do I really mean? We'll make it clear as we go on. So this part of it is called the declaration of an array. Uh, you can see that we are not saying what the size of an array is when we are declaring it. All that we are seeing is max2 is an integer array. So basically max2 is an uh, integer, is an array which can, contains numbers. That's basically what we are saying. The next part is what we call the definition. So this is where we say how many elements would be there in this array. So what I'm saying is this is the definition. So I'm creating a new array, a new array of what type? It's integer type. And what's the size of it? Five. So what we are saying here is we are, we are creating a new integer array of five and we are assigning it to marks. Uh, one thing you can try, this is more of a trivia. You can have these brackets here or you can even have something of this kind. All these are valid syntaxes. However, I really prefer this kind of a syntax or even this is fine. So I prefer uh, this or this as a syntax for uh, declaring an array. This is very clear that max2 is an array. So now this is how you uh, create an array. Now how do we access the values inside the array? That's basically by uh, using this. So let's say I want to print what is the value present uh, in the first thing of an array. So if let's say there are five values stored in an array, one, two, three, four, and five. The way indexes of an array runs are not from one to five, but it's actually from zero to five. So zero, one, two, three, comma, so let's say let's say we store a values in these values in the array then if you say max2 of 0 this is the value which gets printed max2 of 3 then this is the value which gets printed so the indexes in java uh, run from 0 to size minus 1 the size of this is 5 so it's from 0 to 4 minus 1 let's just try running this program and see what would be the output you'd see that the output is zero because we have not assigned any values in the array. So what all that we have done is just created the array and directly printed uh, the value inside the array. So if we want to put a value inside the array, then we can do something of this kind. Let's say I want to put a value of 10 inside the marks one. Let's say I got 99 marks, for example. Then if you do this, 
it's 99. So the syntax is very simple, marks, open bracket, and close bracket, and inside is uh, a index. Index can run from 0 to uh, the size of the array, minus 1. Let's say if I put something like a 10 here, what would happen? This would probably work in C, but in Java, what it does is it throws something called an index out of bounds exception. You cannot have an index which is greater than the size of the array. It, index should at least uh, be one less than the size of the array. Uh, uh, sorry, index can be at most be one less than the size of an array. So similarly, if you try something with a negative index, it would again throw a index out of bounds exception. That's I think expected. Yep, that's good. Uh, now let's, uh, there's another way you can create an array. Let's say I want to directly create an array with a specific values inside them. So then I can say something of this kind. I want to create an array with 93, 94. So this is another way you can create an array. So here, if you look at it, what we are doing is we are creating a marks to array and we are directly assigning the values to this. So if I say marks 2 of 0, then let's see what get printed. You'd see that 91 is printed out to the console. So that, that's, that's the first value. As I said earlier, the indexes actually run from 0. So this is 0, this is 1, this is 2, and this is 3. So if I say marks 2 of 3 and try to print the value inside that, then you'd see that it prints 94, which is the value at 3, which is here, and this is 94. So this is basically how you can store values in an array and how you can read values out of an array. In the next tutorial, let's look at more stuff regarding the arrays, more details regarding the arrays. Until then, bye. If you like this video, show it by clicking like or commenting or sharing this video. We are creating more videos on varied range of topics as we speak. Subscribe to stay updated. Thanks for watching. Until next time, bye.